All right, guys, uh, welcome to the channel. Uh, once again, this is Connery from Out of Work Outdoors, and today we're going over my favorite nighttime fishing baits. And this is for all the stripers that are from like 15 inches to 40, okay? So, uh, some of you might be asking, how come you guys have never done a nighttime fishing video? And the quick answer to that is when we go out, it's pitch black. You don't see anything, and we're throwing everything on like traditionally seven foot to about nine foot rods uh, is where you kind of want to keep this there's one exception but you might step it up to 10 six but that's really where it's at a lot of the nighttime fishing it's really really slow it's just a lot of you know slow retrieve winds uh depending on the current or depending if you're fishing on a body of water that's not flowing water you might want to pick a lure that's a little bit different but i'm going to go over some that are my definite fives and once again i'm targeting stripers that are in the 18 to 30 inch range majority of the time when I'm doing this in the nighttime fishing stuff so uh, my best and most confidence goes to this one and some of you might laugh at me because it's a small bait it's not even that big this is a bomber it's a jointed bomber and it's it's, it's kind of like a vintage bomber too so these are kind of hard to find uh, the best ones are the ones that are chrome where the lip is painted chrome too so I don't know what it is but I think this is a different plastic it just wobbles and thumps a lot harder in the water so this is one of those baits where you throw out there is made mainly for say lakes or rivers that hardly ever flow uh, this thing has a lot of action so you're just gonna reel it real slow and already it's got a lot of action on it and I've already replaced the hooks this is not stock hooks um owner st 36s these are size uh size five size fives and size fours uh the stripers love these things that's all i gotta say it's a fun lore go out smash them okay the next one is also another one that it gets those little 18 inches fired up real real good 18 to 24 they love this thing and it's just a square bill it's just a strike king square bill and you fish it in this color too the chartreuse color and you can either do this or go with a traditional just shad pattern works, works great so for something like this it's great in the in the summertime uh once again night fishing you throw it out there just wine and wine and wine sometimes they want it burning but you know you got to figure that out for yourself but a lot of times my retrieves are like if you say that's one turn the top half is fast and then slow fast slow fast slow and that usually gets you bit pretty good all right. So, anyways, I was talking about I was talking about the hooks. Uh, the stock hooks definitely need to be upgraded. Uh, for square bills, I definitely recommend the uh, the EWG styles. The ones I have on here are just Walmart brands, but you know my favorite EWGs are always going to be Gamagatsu's. So, anyways, I'll leave all the links to everything down in the description below. You guys can definitely go check it out. All right, guys, before I take you to the next lore, I need you guys to do me a favor. I need you to click the subscribe button, the like button, and the bell notification. That way, every time we put out a new video, we're in, there's a lot of them coming down the pipe. You don't want to miss out. You want to learn about fishing. We're going to give it to you. Lots of knowledge being dumped uh, from now until New Year's. So click the like, subscribe, and the bell so that you don't miss anything. All right? All right, so the next thing up is now. Now say say you're like tired of chasing all those little stripers, right? You want you want to go out and maybe just get one or two bites that night, right? Or say you're fishing saltwater, and the migrations here, right? You want to target those bigger fish. I know some states they require a 28 inch minimum, so that's where these guys come in. This is this is once again it's one of my confidence baits. It's, once again it's a bomber. It's a jointed bomber. And the hook, the hardware is not bad. You might actually want to upgrade them a little bit, but don't go too big because then you'll just kill the action of it. But once again, this is a slow kill lure. Um, it, it's got a jointed section here, and it's it's just gonna thump all the way back. Stripers can find it. This is the sand eel color too. Everybody knows sand eels. It's freaking money. Okay. All right. Up next should be no surprise. We are big fans of Yozuri lures. And these two kind of take the same spot, depending on what you want to do. So this is the new one, and this is the old one. You can say that. This is just a crystal minnow. It's a magnum crystal minnow in my favorite color. You can see that. That's my favorite color for night cranking. Actually, Hybrid, hybrid Killer found this lore. And uh, 
he wanted to try black and he did it's great basically it's just a scale pattern black bottom real dark purple top no way transfer on this but it does have a little rattle comes with decent hooks and it gets good action so the main difference between that one and this one is the weight transfer system you can hear it it bombs it this one bombs it out pretty far this is the lore you see in the Cape Cod videos, the Hydro Minnow. All right, so the reason why you got to have two of these, right? So I'll give you certain scenarios and you can pick and choose, okay? So if you're if you're fishing um, rivers, this guy. Because I think this guy, if it's a river that's flowing pretty fast, you want this guy. Because the river current will actually give you action on this. Whereas if, if you're, you're fishing in an area that has no current and you have to reel and give action to the lord then you want this one because this one has more action and you want to reel slow and get action already whereas this one you're gonna reel pretty fast to get action and the thing is if you gotta throw them throw out real far the bites coming at the end of the cast then you want that but if you figure that the bites are coming within 15 yards of the shore that's what you want right there so that's that's the reason for the two um favorite colors once again uh keep it simple bone or chrome and black except for that one that one i like i like purple all right last but not least so if you're chasing big stripers i think everybody understands that big the biggest stripers usually are on the bottom so if you're presented with the opportunity you have to throw a swim bait and this the swim bait idea is still uh a very very good lore even though they probably can't see it but they can track it down based on vibrations but with that being said, you don't want a small swim bait. You don't want a pretty good size swim bait. Um, my favorite swim baits. My favorite jig heads to throw with swim baits is the war baits. One ounce with a 10 out hook on the back. That is striper approved for me. And as for a swim bait, it really doesn't matter. I've been playing around with swim baits a little bit. This is a uh, Bastrix. It's a six inch swim bait. And it looks kind of weird. But, I mean, it looks good, though, <laughs> because it looks weird. I think at night, it doesn't really matter that you have four eyes on each side, <laughs> or, or four eyes total. They just basically want something big crawling, on, crawling around, and uh, something just that wiggles his tail a little bit, just like that, and they'll, they'll smash it. The, the major thing is you got to keep the lure on the bottom of the uh, where the rocks are at, or pebbles, wherever you're fishing. So that's why you want a big jig head. Uh, it's not really for casting out far. It's just to keep it on the on the uh, on the ground, and then after that, you want a big hook. This is a ten aught owner hook, big gap here. You can cut the weed guard off if you want, but I do like the head because it does come with a weed guard, so it helps. It helps the rocks a little bit. Okay, so that's that's definitely a good one for the freshwater world. And then we were introduced to this. This guy. At in our Cape Cod trip. Okay, this is the Savage Eel. It's a solid, I think it's a six inch body. And then you tack on like a three ounce head, which is ridiculous. But if you're on the Cape Cod Canal, the, that canal is literally like 50 feet deep. So you have to you have to get the sucker down and keep it down because the canal flows a lot of water too. And, you know, those stripers, they chase mackerel. I mean, this is a small size mackerel for that river. So I mean, those mackerels are, they're like that. So this is like snack size for them. So don't be too uh, intimidated by throwing something real big. And yeah, these work at night too, which is very, very good. And speaking of night colors, here's a solid black. Not a lot of people buy black for the night fishing, but I'm telling you, that's one of the best colors. Um, yeah, I think that's pretty much it. So those are my five, well, she's not about five, but those are my top lures for night fishing. I'm covering everything from like an 18 inch all the way up to, you know, your 40 inch and you know if you have just a good assortment of those they're pretty much good to go i mean just keep just ch keep checking your hooks make sure uh stripers are not bending them out and things like that and i think pretty much guarantee you you're gonna catch fish on that you know that's that's my confidence everything from uh like fresh water all the way to salt water so uh, that's what i got that's that's a good five years of testing in all types of lures and those are my confidence I mean, there's a lot of cool new baits coming out but they're still kind of iffy, and like I said, those, I've been, I've, my confidence has been the last 10 years, just right there. So, once again, um, uh, all the uh, links to where you can get all this through Amazon will be in the, in the uh, description. 
and please buy from that it gives us a little bit of a, a commission so we can continue to do these videos and do awesome trips for you guys and continue to uh you know share secrets like this with you guys all right once again subscribe to the channel click that like button subscribe uh, share this video with your friends and i'll see you on the next one hey everybody thanks for watching but stop freeloading we need you guys to hit the subscribe button the like button and the bell and be sure to follow us on instagram and facebook and we'll see you guys on the next one